Guys, I have a this many clients looking for a house in Western this year. By the way, do you want to know why they chose Western over other towns? Then in this video, I'm going to break down all kind of facts that why you will never regret to live in Western. South Florida, one of the main, main complaint I get from my clients and also my friends and family who moved here with kids is the finding the good school zone. That's really very much challenging here. And that is why many of the CD we have to eliminate from the list. If you're moving here, just, you know, keeping that priority as you have to move to primary to very good school zone and of course the safe neighborhoods so this both things goes parallel when you are moving to some you know the location where there is a good school zone it definitely will have the safe neighborhoods so the culture and the schools kind of goes very parallel however it doesn't mean that when there are it's a bad school zone you won't find the safe neighborhoods but it is I'm just telling in a general term where when you are going in an amazing school zone or A plus school zone, you do not have to worry about the neighborhoods because definitely you will have a choices to live around. Here in South Florida, the main, main complaint what we get and that I wish, you know, the South Florida gets improved there is the finding the, all of the schools a plus so for example in some cities you may get the great neighborhoods maybe the great elementary school and middle school but the high school is not the same thing vice versa like when the high school is good then middle school is not good most of the time in south florida elementary anywhere is good but middle school and high school that's the biggest issue we face here and that is why that's one of the main reason i keep it when i'm choosing the western because in western if you live here anywhere you live here you do not have to worry about any of the schools because it's so awesome and the culture here is very friendly and very educative culture you will find here so that's my number one reason Weston will not beat any of the areas. There are some other cities, definitely it's competitive to Weston, but I'm going to tell you some other points which will kind of make it more stronger Weston over other cities. And that's why Weston is one of my favorite city where if you move there, you will never ever get disappointment. <music> Another reason living in Weston is means living in actual Florida feel because you will see so many palm trees. Trust me, almost like a 40,000 plus palm trees are there in Weston. Anywhere you go, not only your neighborhood, but if you are even moving around your, you know, just driving around or biking around, you will find so much greenery. And there are so many even golf courses are there. Even like a regular communities, you will find the beautiful golf courses. The reason, you know, having those golf courses, not only just for the fun, but it brings a lot of greenery, you know. So, you know, there are probabilities, the communities where you're living, you have a golf view, you have amazing amazing broad view of course having the lake view or water view is the really plus point when you're living in Florida because trust me you are going to spend your 70% of your time outdoor so as much as you're worried about inside of your house definitely definitely consider the view sometimes this water view is a lot more expensive and that is why having this golf view or the garden view it does matter and that gives you a little bit of your personalized feel too and that is a probability of getting you know different kinds of communities where you can get golf view at least that's very rare happens in some other cities of Broward County so that's my another biggest point because you will get to see a greenery all around your eyes will be you know will have a lot of vitamin E and if you love golfing then definitely definitely you will love Weston because as I told you there 
are so many golf courses here and many people just move here because of there is a probability of getting the golf course communities. And let's say you don't want to move to community where you have to pay those extra fees for the golf courses. There are some of the resort style like a hotels or different plans or you're like, for example, that is called the Bonaventure Club. They do have a hotels. They do have some kind of plan for the residents who can pay like yearly there and they can have access to their golf. They can have access to their inside uh, like a club. Like there is a gym, there is a like even a Zen area. You can do meditation there. So for, even for the kids, there is a kids playing area. So a lot of things you can find there. And if you do not want to pay anything, then there are so many parks in Weston. That's another reason where families with kids, they prefer living in Weston because you do not have to even drive more than two miles to get to access to park because there's so many parks in Weston. And the infrastructure is so amazing that most of the neighborhood will have a close by park. So if you love doing the outdoors, like doing the exercise, doing the biking, you also have separate bike trails throughout majority of the throughout. The, and that is also very rare you will find in South Florida because in South Florida, a little bit, I would say some cities are so crowded at this moment and cities also not investing in those outdoor things that's supposed to be like, you know, making the road more broad. And there's so many even accidents happen because of that, because, you know, bikers are riding on main roads. In Weston, in contrast, they do have a separate, it, like, first of all, they were very broad roads. And at the same time, they were separate bike trails. And that's what make it more, much more difference if you guys love doing some of the outdoor fun. And as I told you, there's so many even parks are there. If you don't like to enjoy, you know, on the roads, like riding on the roads, there are parks even, which are very safe for even you go with the kids. So Weston, I consider, you know, you have everything like for almost for everybody, like kids have their, you know, different kinds of fun they can do for young couples. Also, they really enjoy in Weston because Weston is very close to highway. So let's say you want to go to Miami or you want to go to Fort, Fort Lauderdale is a little bit tough there. But if you want to go to Miami, then also it's very easy. You just take a Sawgrass and 75, you know, it's not like you won't get stuck in traffic. If you want to go to any of the beach, that's also kind of in 20 minutes, you can reach the beach. And another plus point is Everglade is very, very next to Weston. So that's why if you love exploring nature, if you love exploring like, you know, looking at the alligators, looking at the birds, then definitely Everglades has so much beautiful parks. If you're moving to South Florida, then definitely you have to get used to seeing the alligators and you know, you have to embrace them instead of getting scared. Like living in South Florida is actually living in nature because in your own backyard, you don't get surprised. You may see alligators sometime. So that's, that's possible. Like on my own house, like we had like three years ago, we had a seven foot alligator, you know, we caught from our backyard. So I know it's really scary. But honestly, when you start living in Florida, you will get used to seeing the nature, animals and snakes, like garden snakes are pretty common here. Lizards are very common here. So those things are a little bit of negative. I mean, I have mentioned in my other video where I'm talking about why you should not move to Florida. So if you're really, really afraid of those things, yes, then definitely, you know, Florida is not for you. And especially the Western city, because Western is very, very close to Everglades. And that's why it has even, you know, some of the community where you live there, you will even hear airboats passing by. And in hurricane season, it's pretty common to see alligators in a common lake area in different neighborhoods. I mean, I want to keep it very transparent to you guys. So if you are moving here, you need to know things like not only just plus points, but also minus points. One more thing I would like to talk about Weston is the real estate part. So real estate here in Weston is more expensive than a couple of other cities. But 
But because considering this A plus school zone, considering all fun factors, what you will get here, many families choose Weston over other cities. And I'll tell you why. In real estate part, the major difference is it's a, it's a really like a geographically, it's a little bit bigger city than compared to Parkland or some other cities like Miramar or Pembroke Pines. And it's really newer cities. Like after 2000, most of the construction happened there. So major houses are a little bit new. Plus so many neighborhoods for single family houses. If you're looking for rentals like townhouses or apartment, then it's really challenging. And there's another video where I talk about the rentals for Weston. So check out that if you're looking to live in a rentals and there are some of the drawbacks finding things in Weston because there's a low inventory on apartment townhouses. In reverse, on a single family, it's a, you know, a lot of communities are there, a lot of choices are there. It's a little bit hard to find the new construction there. There are only one or two communities and they go above 2 million plus right now. But in general, you will have a lot of single family houses. You may get a houses where, you know, they just finished the remodeling and stuff. So you may get a probability of getting even newer remodel houses too. And a lot of layouts since Weston has so many communities. So you will find a lot of different builders. So, and that's why you will find a lot of different layouts. For example, if you go in Parkland, it's a little bit of cookie cutter plans because majority of the communities are built by Lennar and you know, those plans one or other way kind of matching to each other. But in Weston, that's the biggest difference I feel in real estate is like you will find a lot of varieties of houses. So you, you don't have to compromise the layouts there. At the same time, the lot sizes are very, very big. So mostly if you go after 2000 plus year build, the lot size has started reducing. And many of the builders, especially in the north or even in a Parkland, that's one of the competitive city. And I have some other video about comparing Parkland and Weston. Make sure you check out those so you will understand what I'm talking about. So lot sizes are very bigger than those cities, especially the Parkland. And that's why I feel like it's much variety of the things you will find if you are, even though you are spending you know, 700,000 or 800,000 plus, but you will have so many varieties to choose from. I still consider Weston as more attractive city than other cities like Parkland or going to North, like there's some other A plus school zone cities like a Wellington, or if you go South is like Pembroke Pines. I still believe Weston, is, it has more potential over other city. And that's why, again, I'm going to use the same line is you will never disappoint if you live in Weston.